Hey guys, today I wanted to show you one of my favorite tanks in the entire store. Debatably, the first tank that you see when you come into the store, uh, the 240 Reef. The reason that we set this tank up in the first place is because we need a place to be able to show people what they can do with a reef aquarium. Um, this tank has uh, really, really good lights. It has good power heads, skimmer, it's got pretty much the works as far as filtration and lighting and uh, and flow. And it's got wonderful fish, including a Sohal tang, some of my favorites uh, because I treat it like my tank, as well as some really nice corals. It's got frog spawns, torches, uh, really a lot of different corals, but none of them are extremely hard to find. Uh, they're all corals that we get in periodically, and then also we frag out of the tank itself to get some of the corals that we have for $5 frag day. Every first Tuesday of the month is when that happens. I get out a bunch of frags, uh, as like the Zoas. Uh, we've got Jungle Juice in there. We also have the Utter Chaos, um, some LA Lakers as well as some Bob Marley's and uh, the Sun, uh, sorry, the Aztec Sun Zoas, um, as well as some Palitho Grandis. Uh, but we frag out a bunch of stuff like that, as well as candy canes, all the, all the fast growing stuff. Um, we frag out and do for $5 on the first Tuesday of the month. There's a lot of different fish in this aquarium, uh, including a shark that we hatched out ourselves. He does not have a name yet. So if anybody has any really good ideas, he's adorable. He's my child, <laughs> if I'm really honest. He's such a cool little guy. Uh, eats out of your hand and is just going to live a very happy life in this tank until we move him to a future project tank, which will be his, his permanent home. But for now, a 240 is a good place for him to grow out for a while. Uh, he eats like a champ, uh, even though sometimes he gets his food stolen by the Sohal Tang and other, other critters in the tank. Um, but to speak of other critters in the tank, it's stocked with uh, the Sohal Tang, like we said, as well as a Sailfin Tang. We've got a blue Tang I named Hank. Um, he's got a mohawk of black, which is really cool. I saw him and was like, man, that is a cool looking fish. Um, you can kind of see him in the background, although there are better shots of him. Um, we have a fox face rabbit fish as well as a scopus tang uh, that came from a customer. Uh, we also have, I think I already said the sailfin tang in there, but an orange face fairy wrasse that came from a shipment where I thought he was going to die, if I'm really honest. He was in about a teaspoon of water in the bag and just gasping and gasping and gasping um, because his bag had been popped in shipping. Um, but he ended up pulling through and he did really good. A few of the other guys that we have in here, we've got a really, really shy uh, tail spot blenny. When I say shy, he just doesn't like getting filmed really. We have this dragonette goby. Um, when I say goby, it's a, uh, sorry, mandarin dragonette, not dragonette goby. What am I talking about? It's a mandarin dragonette. A lot of people call them mandarin gobies. There's the tail spot blenny. Um, but in any case, they are wonderful little guys. All of them. I love them. Oh, and then also we have a goby and pistol shrimp pair in there. Uh, it's a female yellow watchman goby, which is not yellow. It's more of a, a gray with blue spots. Um, and then, of course, the males are that nice yellow color. But in any case, the whole point of this tank uh, is to inspire and there's that blue tang in the back but is to inspire people because I believe that when you are first in this hobby you you need something to kind of jump you in the right direction I also show people how easy it is to keep a setup like this because there is literally I mean I do water changes we dose and I can show people exactly what we do to get the corals to look the way that they do um, and basically just show everybody that it is so easy to keep a good looking tank. Uh, in any case, guys, I hope your tanks are doing awesome. And I hope you liked this first fish focus. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and uh, in the comments, recommend other videos that we could do and what you want to see. Alrighty, guys.